Five and a half years ago, I was a Royal Marines Major in command of about 175 guys deployed in Afghanistan. I was leading a patrol when I was blown up by an improvised explosive device and I had taken a pretty big hit. Soon realised that my military career was over and I kind of started thinking about what I wanted to do in my future. Cycling was my passion. I kind of set up my business, Leos Bikes, named after my kids, Lily and Oscar. Welcome to Leos Bikes. We're all about promoting health and well-being in the community. And we do that by selling bikes, by conducting bike fittings, and by servicing and repairing people's bikes. So we've got a small servicing workshop area behind me here. With so many families dusting off their old bikes, we have been repairing kids' bikes for free, and we are registered for the government's Fix Your Bike voucher scheme. Moving around in front of the workshop area, we try to create a bit of a social area, a bit difficult at the moment due to the two metre distancing rule under COVID-19, uh, but hopefully once that gets lifted, we can then create a nice environment, a bit of community, for all those people that like to cycle, that maybe do triathlon, linking in with all the local clubs. In line with government advice during the COVID-19 lockdown, we stayed open to ensure we could support essential care workers, as there are a lot in our local area who use bikes to commute to work. So we've got a fair amount of space, uh, which is quite good for a bike shop. So we've got a bike sales area and a bike servicing area over at the main shop door. And then we move upstairs where we've created a, a bespoke bike fitting studio. And here we've got our bespoke bike fitting studio. We're one of less than 40 companies in the whole of the UK that only utilise the VTOL 3D motion analysis bike fitting equipment. And so that really makes us stand out and we're getting uh, a, lot of, a lot of support to those in the local community that are into their cycling and triathlons. With health and well-being high on our priority list, we also wanted to ensure that those who cycle for exercise could continue doing so. Being a bike shop, we were one of the few retailers that could continue trading in order to support the local community, in line with government advice. But of course, we had to follow strict COVID-19 control measures. To do this, our first port of call was communication via our social media channels, website, and posters in the shop. We had clear bike drop markings so customers could keep social distance from staff, as well as in-shop floor markings. Hand sanitizer is clearly available as well. Staff wear personal protective masks and gloves, and bikes are sprayed down on drop-off and pick-up in order to reduce risk. Finally, you asked us uh, for a party trick, so over to Max. 